Hey everyone, I'm the 13th Wolfman. You know what? Today is day 19 of the 31 days of Halloween. That's right. 19 and Halloween. They rhyme. Cool. Um, so yesterday, I talked to you about a movie that rarely anyone mentions, and that's Devour with Jensen Eccles. And before that, it was House of Wax, House of Wax with Jared Padalecki. And before that, it was My Bloody Valentine with Jensen Eccles. So guess what's happening today? Yep, that's right. I'm doing Jared Padalecki's... Second horror film, Friday the 13th, basically the 2009 remake. Um, what can I say about this? This is an interesting movie. They, they take the first three movies, you know, uh, the first three original movies, and they kind of combine them to get, they kind of take parts from here and there and combine them into one movie. Now, this movie is okay. I... I like the idea of it, I like the look of some of it, but there are things about it that just kind of bother me. And I know they're trying to go for a, a rebooted Jason and they got, a, they got a new cool idea of what's going on with it, but whereas uh, Mr. Bones, I believe, has already done a review of this, like the idea of, you know, there being tunnels underneath the, if you haven't, if you, if you haven't seen this, then Turn it off now because I'm going to throw some spoilers at you. But the reason that, the reason that they give that Jason is everywhere is because he's built this elaborate tunnel system underneath Camp Crystal Lake, and it comes out everywhere. I mean, each tunnel comes out like one tunnel comes out underneath a bus. The other tunnel, the other tunnel comes out at a house. Um, he's got these elaborate trip wires to tell them where people are. You know, it's like they'll they'll hit a trip wire and some bells will ring and he'll know that they're in they're you know above tunnel five or something. I don't. I mean, they don't really say tunnel five, but you know, something like that. So Jason was Jason's mother was killed, and he was like five or six years old. And from the time he was five or six years old, for twenty years the camp's been closed, and. Jason is still, you know, according to this movie, he's still a mongoloid. Um, he has spent 20 years digging tunnels and setting up really elaborate trip wires and learning how to how to uh, uh, string wire to make sure that you know you have lights down in these tunnels, even though none of it's really reinforced. I mean. That was the thing that bugged me. It's like, so he's super intelligent, yet this is this is what he does. I don't know. It just it was one thing that kind of bugged me. I but that's me overthinking this movie. Now you have Jerry Padalecki from Supernatural, who when this movie came out, it came out in two thousand nine. When Jensen Eccles' uh, My Bloody Valentine came out, it came out in two thousand and nine. So. They both have movies that came out in 2009, horror films, after they were on Supernatural. And they both have movies that came out in 2005, horror films, before they were on Supernatural. Kind of interesting. Now, another, I mean, here we go. We got another CW star in this movie. Daniel Ponderbreaker, who plays Jenna, is Caitlin Snow from The Flash now. Um, Aaron Yu... Aaron Hughes, I always find the characters that are like the super hippy dippy uh, potheads annoying. I mean, it just, it seems like their whole character is nothing but, hey, it's another pot joke. Hey, I'm all about pot. It's like, okay, I get it, you know, you're a bakehead, whatever. Um, but Aaron Yu plays the, plays the resident pothead. Ryan Hansen from Veronica Mars is in this. It's just kind of interesting that, you know, a lot of the teen, um, not, I don't know if you say teen, but young adults from TV were popping up on this show, or on this movie. Is it well done? It is. But there's also, the other thing that bugged me about this movie is that there was a lot of dark spots where it's filmed super dark and you're not quite sure what's going on. And this is, this movie was done with quick cuts. And after a while, I'm taken out of the movie because, you know, they're doing these really fast quick cuts, like something you'd see in an action film, and you're just kind of going, um, 
that works in an action film where it's well lit and everything's going on. And you're like, okay, Jason Statham is kicking someone's butt again, but it doesn't work in a horror movie. You're trying to build suspense, so doing all these quick cuts of what's going on just ruins it. I mean, this is an okay movie. That's just it. It's okay. Um, is a great hell no. Um, does it belong with the other, with the other Fat Friday the Thirteenth movies? Yeah, but I would put this in the middle somewhere, not at the bottom of the list where it's trash. Like Friday the Thirteenth, uh, Jason goes to hell. That's just pure garbage. That belongs at the bottom of the list. This would fall somewhere in the middle where it's not pure garbage and it's not great. It's just okay. So that's my uh, that's my day nineteen. Woohoo, man! We're just chug chug chugging along on these things, you know. Day nineteen, wow. Um, so watch the slideshow at the end, of course. Check out the people that are also doing also doing their thirty one days of horror Halloween or thirty one days half October. And uh, yeah, from that point on, I'm the thirteenth Wolfman. Of course, I'm on the prowl.